a five-minute YouTube video featuring John DeFilippo revealed the charismatic Eagles quarterback's coach enjoys working out every day before 6 a.m. At Orange Theory, considers himself a sneakerhead who owns dozens of designer basketball shoes and uses a walk-in closet large enough to schedule tours. Ladies and gentlemen, meet the most compelling candidate for the Bears' head coaching position. Be careful assuming that also makes DeFilippo the most qualified. Those aren't necessarily one and the same. Nobody knows yet if DeFilippo could beat the Packers as the Bears' head coach, but he definitely would win his share of news conferences. You easily could imagine general manager Ryan Pace watching DeFilippo in action and uttering terms like cool and fired up to endorse the 39-year-old. DeFilippo seems like a guy who would go to the same health club and hair salon as Pace, who's one year older. The commonalities matter only if the two contemporaries share a football philosophy that enables DeFilippo to emerge as the top choice for the job. But who really can predict what Pace will value most during these interviews? Pace remains too inexperienced at hiring to know what criteria he will weigh heaviest when making such a monumental decision. Right now, Las Vegas would call Pace's heart versus Pace's head a pick M. Pace earned a two-year contract extension from his gullible bosses at Hallis Hall but not the benefit of the doubt in Chicago not yet. DeFilippo indeed might do for the Bears what 31-year-old Sean McVay did for the Rams, connect well enough with a second-year quarterback to trigger a resurgence. Or the job could prove bigger than expected for someone who never has been a head coach and make the guy known as Flip Flip Out. Whomever Pace hires as head coach will go a long way toward establishing or destroying his credibility in town. Is too much at stake for Pace for him to risk hiring someone without head coaching experience but an abundance of enthusiasm like DeFilippo? Only Pace can answer that and he won't say anything believable. He likely will reinforce how much he favors whatever is best for the Bears, not necessarily him. He figures to reference Bears officials George McCaskey and Ted Phillips, Pace's chauffeurs. He will sound more certain about the hire than he possibly can be. That quest took the Bears traveling party Sunday to Kansas City, M.O., to interview Chiefs offensive coordinator Matt Nagy, 39. Nagy called plays in the Chiefs' 22-21 AFC wild card loss to the Titans, another epic failure at Arrowhead Stadium that has no effect on Nagy's attractiveness. Blowing a 21-3 lead didn't make Nagy any dumber, regardless of the negativity swirling around social media, and a body of work doesn't become disfigured by one blemish. Ask the 49 ERS how glad they are that they ignored the role of former Falcons play caller and current 49 ERS coach Kyle Shanahan in allowing the Patriots to overcome a 28-3 lead in Super Bowl Lee. Before and after the Chiefs' loss, Nagy makes sense for the Bears to pursue because he possesses many of the same traits as DeFilippo, energy and intelligence with the slightest edge. A former Arena Football League quarterback who threw for 18,866 yards and 374 touchdown passes, Nagy also would come with Chiefs coach Andy Reid's endorsement, a great icebreaker and potential tiebreaker.